All right, so we know how and and or work. Of course, truth, uh, truth values are concerned. And is only true if both of them are true. Or it can be true if both of them are true or one of them is true. <clears throat> the conditional is probably the trickiest of the bunch. I'll just tell you that right up front. So let's uh, let's go through let's go through our little example here, um, <clears throat> and let's let's talk about this statement here. Let's say we have a politician, and <clears throat> the politician's statement is, "If I am elected, then taxes will be lowered." All right, so that, that'll be our example here to kind of play off the true and falseness of the arrow uh, conditional statement. And so again, the, this translates, we haven't done one where we translate, but if this is P, this is Q, how do I write that? P arrow Q, right? P arrow Q. <coughs> so it's a little different. The if then comes over to be P R O Q. All right, so let's just uh, let's just go through the true falseness of each part. In other words, let's do a truth table here for the P R O Q. P statement, Q statement. <clears throat> so we've got P's and Q's. So we just need the two. So let's talk about every uh, possibility for this statement. And of course the way we'll approach it is we'll say that statement is false if the politician lied. Right? And it's true if we can't say that the politician lied. Okay. Alright. So the first one is true, true. So we've got true arrow true. So the politician says, if I'm elected, then taxes will be lowered. It's true, the politician is elected, and it's true that taxes are, are lowered, or will be lowered. So the politician, that's true, right? That would be true. The politician did not lie there. All right, case number two, politician is elected, that's true, false, taxes will be lowered. Politician was elected, False taxes will be lowered, though. Did the politician tell the truth or did he tell false? That would be false, right? <clears throat> if I'm elected, then taxes will be lowered. Well, you got elected, but taxes will not be lowered. That, that means this statement is a false. Falsehood, right? With me? True, false. This is false, so it's... All right. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. So the next case is false, the politician is elected, true, taxes will be lowered. Maybe this one's not as tricky, but it's different. <clears throat> so I'm elected, it's false, the politician, but it's true, taxes will be lowered. Did the politician lie there? You can't say they lied, right, or she. Um, that's still true, right? The statement here is still true. So that's true. So that's already something different, isn't it? Think about it. We'll, we'll talk more about what's happening here. And then the last one is a really tricky one. So the last is false, false. Uh, it's false that the politician is elected, and it's false that taxes will be lowered. In that case, can we say that the politician lied? Why not? It's conditional, right? If I'm elected, then taxes will be lowered. If the politician was not elected, can we very well hold them to the taxes being lowered? We can't hold that to them. It's if I'm elected, then taxes. So if it's uh, I'm elected, it's false, all bets are off. That's still true. That's still a true statement. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt, if you will. That was true. What do you think about that? <laughs> You'll like it, yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> that's the way it works, though. That's the way it works. This one's this one's really tricky, isn't it? Because you got two falses, but that statement's true. 
And it's just because the condition didn't hold, basically. All right. How can we summarize what we got here? That's the only time that if then statement is false. T arrow F. That's false. That's the only time uh, this conditional statement is false. Right? Anytime else, it's true. Now, notice it has to be T arrow F because if I switch that around, F arrow T is F arrow T false? Nope. F arrow T is true. It's the only time it's false. T arrow F. So it's got to be T arrow F. F arrow T is true. F arrow F is true. T arrow T. That one's the easiest one to bunch, but all right. <clears throat> um, one other thing before I uh, move on here, thinking of two, um, <clears throat> there's uh, there's some other terms here. So if you got if p then q, that conditional statement, <clears throat> the p statement here is called the antecedent. Antecedent, and then the Q is the uh, consequent. So the if part is the antecedent, and the then part is the consequent. Just another term if they ask you about that. The if part's the antecedent, and the Q part's the consequent. So to apply that here, the only time conditional statement is false is if the antecedent is true. The consequent is false. That's the only time that conditions. All right. So let's see if we can practice on that a little bit. All right. So let's just do one truth table for uh, for this one. So true table for <clears throat> parentheses, not P, arrow, not Q, arrow, and the parentheses both, and then arrow that again with P. We want a truth table for that. Let's do that. All right, so uh, how many lines do I need? Two. Uh, yeah, well, I've got P's and Q's, don't I? I don't have the R, so I just need P and Q here, so that's going to mean four lines, right? <clears throat> true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. That's where those start. And then over here, yeah, we'll do the statement. Not P, arrow, not Q, arrow, P. So far, so good. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do it the same. I'll do it the same way as I've been doing it. All right, so let's do the not P. Uh, just do the truth values of it. So that's the negation of P. It's the opposite of P. So we just do the opposite of this column right here. So we got false, false, true. And then we got negation of Q. So we've got false, true, false, true. And then the last one is just P. So it's just a copy of the P column. True, true, false, false. All right, so we're going to arrow those together, if then, if you will, too. All right, so the first, oh, we start off, start off with the thing here. All right, F, arrow, F, both of them are false. Any other time, if it's and or or, that's false. But on the arrow, F, arrow, F is true. The only time... The arrow statement, if then statement, is false as if it's T arrow F. So F arrow F, that's true. I am lost. <laughs> yeah, you just have to remember. We'll get some practice on them. So F arrow F, that's true. The only time arrow is false, T arrow F. 
Only time false. Every other arrow statement is true. Okay? F arrow T. Well, is it T arrow F? Nope. It's F arrow T. That's true. T arrow F. Aha! That's a false. And then T arrow T. That's true. So the only one that's false out of those is the third one. All right? Practice again here. Just have one more shot at it. <coughs> right, we start off easy on the first one. All right, so the first one uh, now we've got T arrow T. True. True. And then the second one we've got T arrow T. True. And then we've got false arrow false. True, True also. The only time, that's the only time it's false. T arrow F, which is T arrow F is what we have in the last one, so that one is. So it was almost a tautology to the last line there. <coughs> okay, so yeah, you just have to get used to that, give those a little bit of practice, try to have some ready for you for the homework. All right? Okay.